take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. Cash in the bag, steady unpacked, baby I'm bad, yeah. baby I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. I'm sick of being cautious. Most people, ladies and gentlemen, are stoppable. Most people, all you have to do is tell them no. All you have to do is make it inconvenient for them. All you have to do is throw some issues and challenges their way. And they give up. They throw in the towel. They surrender. See, those people don't realize that it goes with the territory. That when you want to grow, when you want to achieve, when you want to experience more, all hell will break loose. Everything that can happen will happen. It's one thing to believe when you've got money in your pocket. It's one thing to believe when your marriage is working out and you've got your health. It's easy to believe then. But it's another thing when you get that diagnosis that says you're not going to be around much longer. When you lose your job, when someone you thought you'd be with for the rest of your life says, no, we can't do this anymore. That's when you have to dig deep. That's when you got to find something within you that won't be denied. There is something about you, there is a power within you that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself and declare, I am going to do it. You gotta get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I'm not gonna live like this anymore. No, there's gotta be more for me. You gotta draw the line. You gotta say enough is enough and I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Don't go through life feeling like you're powerless. The victims are people that are powerless. You're not powerless. You're not a victim. You are powerful. In the chaos is an opportunity. If you can learn to harness the pain you're going through, you can rise to the challenge and refuse to allow the chaos around you to determine the conqueror within you. Resisting the toe to go down and standing fiercely in spite of the opposition and saying, I'm going to do it anyway, but you don't know what's happened to me. It doesn't f***ing matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, tense about it, weak about it, or I can say, it's okay, I'm going to make it happen. You can allow it to destroy you, or you can allow it to build you up. You have the power to do that. Things are going to happen to you, and the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. Courageously hold on to your dream and don't lose enthusiasm. You got to be out of your mind to believe in spite of these numbers, you can still make it. You got to be crazy. Yes, you must be crazy. The crazy people are the only ones who change the world and do the impossible. You got to believe in your heart of hearts that in spite of the pain you're feeling, you can still come back again. It doesn't matter how many times I fail. I'm gonna courageously pursue it. I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. This is something that I want that gives my life meaning and value. You've gotta learn how not to give up and how not to give in. And you gotta understand that greatness is within you and you gotta pull it out. When life's putting the pressure on you, you have to learn to bolt every escape hatch closed in your mind and don't allow yourself a way out you got to find a way or make a way. It's okay to cry. It's okay to go home. It's okay to take a break. But quitting should never be an option. The weakness is in your mind. Out to worry you to death. Out to stress you to death. Out to break you down. Out to make you quit. Out to make you think that you can't get up. Out to make you give up on your dream. The war takes place in your own head. It's not in your savings account. It's not in your job. The fight that you've got to fight is in your mind. And if you can get it out of your head, you can get it out of your job. You can get it out of your finances. You can get all the self-pitying and victimizing thoughts out of your entire life. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. This is just a chapter. Don't like how you feel right now? 
it's okay. It's just a chapter. Why are you up all night, stressed, worried, and weeping over one chapter in your life? This isn't the end of your story. The last chapter of your life hasn't been written yet. You still have more to go. You can still turn things around. And it doesn't matter what happened yesterday or the day before. What matters is what are you doing right now to make your life better? What steps are you taking right now to improve yourself and your situation? We can't control what has happened, but we can control what we do now. You have full control over yourself and your ability to work on yourself and get better at whatever you're doing. The difficulties you're facing right now aren't there to stop you from living your dream. They're there to push you onto another level. They will help make you into the person you want to be. Don't run away from the hardship like most people do. Step toward it, face it head on, and be willing to wrestle with it to get what you want. This world is always gonna give you scars, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Many people try to hide their scars. No, you should wear those scars as a badge of honor. They show what you've overcame, what you've faced and beaten, because only the toughest people make it through to the other side where success is. And you are tough. You are cut from a different cloth. And you gotta see yourself capable and worthy of living a life of greatness, a life of peace. Say to yourself, I'm gonna do it, I'm coming out of this. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know what I'm gonna have to go through. I don't know what I'm gonna lose along the way, but I am going to make it through this. I've been broke, busted, and disgusted, but I still believe that I am coming out of this mess. No matter what it takes, I'm going to do it. What is the common denominator of failure? Why are you failing? You never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. It's the economy. It's the president. It's Congress. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me, the decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's gonna become a culture. Take ownership. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over, that yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win.
We're going to play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different. You walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.